Well, there, Andrew Jackson, AJ Design Studio. Had uh, someone comment on one of my videos asking me if I could do a quick run through on um, how I have SolidWorks set up with a modeling focus. So, anything I might have set up as far as performance uh, or other optimizations to help with modeling versus doing a, making drawings or assemblies, anything like that. I'll just uh, skip through some of my options. There's not a heck of a lot of options that sort of expose the user. Some little granular level stuff like when I used to use Pro Engineer, there were a ton of hidden options and uh, various things you could do. My computer I'm running, I'm running SolidWorks on at the moment is a Threadripper AMD machine. Um, and it's 32 gigs of RAM I've got at the moment. Or 64, 32 maybe. And I have three graphics cards in it because I use uh, use this machine for doing GPU rendering as well on Octane Render. So I've got SolidWorks is currently running on a 3070 Ti, and uh, I've got two of those, and then I've got a 2060 Ti as well. I think I did have a Quadro card in there as well, a smallish one, uh, but I took it out because I was I was doing a whole lot of rendering work, and I just had a few heat. Uh, issues. Anyway, so this is using the 3070 uh, and this is SolidWorks 2023. I'm just going to cover a few things, um, what I have set up on my machine. So probably one of the most um, useful things I find, which you get for free, is if you go into view, display and have tangent edges as phantom. I notice lots of people have tangent edges as visible which means you end up with all these solid edges. Uh, and that, that doesn't actually give me any feedback, doesn't tell me anything about this boundary between these two surfaces. So if you go and go view, display, tangent edges as phantom, I think SolidWorks will display any edge under one degree out of uh, deviating from being tangent as tangent. So it's not necessarily a cure-all so in this case, so we pick that edge there and go check the deviation. So that's 0 0.01 degrees out of tangent. Um, but it just means I can look at a, a file and if you see suddenly a line here, like say this one is phantom font and then it suddenly goes to solid, you go, hang on, there's something wrong with that. That should be tangent. So as I said, you get it for free. So that's one of the first things. If I see someone or I'm helping someone and say, why don't you turn that on? Because it, it gives you visual feedback. Okay, uh, what else under view? Display, I never use real view graphics because I find it as a distraction. And real view is actually uh, running on this at the moment, 2023. I was running, I think it was 2020 the other day and real view is grayed out when I'm using the 3070 Ti graphics card. So while we're on the talking about display and stuff like that, I have some hotkeys set up. So if I push F2, it goes to wireframe, which is the equivalent of that second to bottom one there. And if I push F3, it goes back to shaded, which is the top one with the HLA edges. I always mean to give myself a hotkey for that, but never get around to it anyway. Um, so F4 is hide show all. So if you go view, hide show, hide all types. So I have it set up. So if I push F4 and everything's on, if I push F5, it will hide uh, the planes. So I basically can control whether I'm viewing planes and sketches. So I can't view planes without the sketches, but I find I'm looking at sketches quite a lot and then I need to bring the planes up. So nice quick way to, uh, to change what you're looking at. Let's move on to some of the options and the settings. Too. Just gonna roll this model back a bit. Okay, so let's look at some of the settings. So in options, uh, there's not much up here to talk about. Uh, display, I pretty much have these three options on all the time. Um, turn dynamic highlights from graphics view off if you're working on a really heavy model, um, which means, because otherwise when you scroll, you move your mouse over the window, uh, everything highlights and it can drag, uh, slow things down. Um, I do not use the, oh, that's in a different spot. There's not a heck of a lot of talked about to talk about, to be honest. Performance, um, normally leave verification on rebuild off and, and self intersection because I don't use sheet metal very often. Uh, verification on rebuild, use that if 
there's a problematic model which you can identify by using the evaluate check function. Um, okay, and down here I, 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 I did try out the enhanced graphics uh, performance but I turned that off because there was some glitches with sketches and curvature cones and stuff like that when you're editing sketches. So um, I thought I prefer to have it without the glitches so I turned that off. Okay, um, external references this is a big one for me. I, uh, I make master models and then they get inserted using insert part into other parts quite often. So if you're opening an assembly and it's got those in it, then you want to open the master part and you don't want to opening that. I only want them when I choose to, so I've got those switched off. Okay, I think that's about it as far as modelling only and performance in here. Otherwise, there's a few things I'll just cover with image quality. So if we just roll forward to where this gets thickened. Okay, so this is the thicken now. So it's gone from a surface model into a thicken. You might be able to tell. Okay, so you can see the underlying faceting of the current mesh that SolidWorks is using to shade this model. So let's say, okay, we want to improve that because we want to evaluate the model the surface quality okay so let's just let's just turn this up a little bit for example and then go okay and now you can see there that that's looking crisper isn't it you can't see the mesh edges okay so that's once it's thickened if we happen to roll back and it turned into a surface again you see what happened there the mesh reverted to being that sort of lower resolution one and this is unfortunately it's still a bug that's been SOLIDWORKS as long as I can remember, uh, and it's still in 2023. So if you go back into tools options, image quality, and then move this a little bit again, and go OK, even though we're a surface model now, that no, it still hasn't updated. But if I roll forward, so it's a solid and it's thickened, no, it hasn't updated. So I always keep meaning to build myself a hotkey to like nudge this, but uh, there doesn't seem to be a, an easy way to do it. So, yeah, for performance options, um, I quite often rely on the Zebra tool to evaluate surfaces rather than a visual evaluation with highlights, because sometimes, as I just showed, um, your, your mesh that it uses for shading uh, doesn't reflect what you've actually selected. Okay, I think that's about it for me for modelling. Um, I've got some of my own... Uh, zebra stripe models that I uh, images they use. I'll just swap to another one. This is another little glitch that happens with zebra sometimes. It's like the the poles or the or the projection map for this uh, for the uh, zebras has gone all haywire. So I'm just going to skip over to another model. Okay, so if I so for zebras, I just created my own to get crisper edges on there. Uh, you can make your own as well. And also a nice thing with SolidWorks, you can it will, it will read HDR images, so if you wanted to make your own sort of glossy environment or something like that, you can do that for evaluating uh, surfaces and you won't get bending in it, uh, which you might if you're using like a an 8-bit per channel image. So this is a 32-bit a per channel image, um, which is a nice addition that SolidWorks lets you use. So... I mean, you could probably plug this into your real view, so it's showing all the time, but I prefer to have um, the ability to just switch things on and off. And curvature. Curvature seems to be tied to the mesh settings under image uh, quality. So, as I said, you know how it skips down and shows a lower mesh. Quite often I end up looking at this lower quality one because SolidWorks uh, will revert to showing a lower quality mesh. Um, I think that's about it for me as far as a modelling specific environment. Change my lights as needed and uh, turn off um, lock to model on some of the lights. If you've, you've got lots of uh, getting highlights on one side and on the other side you're not. So you want to turn off that lock to model so the light stays static while you rotate your model. Okay, I cannot think of anything else at the moment that I do for SolidWorks to uh, for modelling specific performance. So. Yeah, thanks for watching. Andrew Jackson, AJ Design Studio. Hope that answers a few questions. See ya.